Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last we left off, Johanny got mad at me for no reason other than needing someone to be angry at. Um, let's see if she has anything else to say. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk again. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Um, your anger problems. Um, what are you thinking about? Taras was my home for many years. As much as I hated it, it was still home. A rat hole, a warren, a paradise. I suppose you could call it all these things. For me, it was hell. Life is hard, you can't blame everything on other people. But it was precisely the people who made it so bad. To walk down the streets, to have people look at you in disgust, like an animal. Most did not know anything about me. But it was there, all the same. Because I was an alien. Because I was different from them. Frightening. I doubt any of them had even seen my people before. So they persecuted me. They looked down on me and my family. Charged us more for food. Would not let us walk their streets. They spat on us. You are human. You could not possibly know. Humans can be just as cruel to each other. That is true, I suppose. But it is much more obvious for someone like me. There were no other Catharan Terrace. No one to talk to, no one to confide in. <laughs> but you must think me weak for saying this. But I am strong enough to admit it. You're not weak to admit that you struggled. I thank you for your concern, but... Uh, maybe I am weak. To think that some stories of my stupid past could possibly interest you. I asked you to... You're not listening to the words that I am saying. I just told you you weren't weak. And I did ask to hear your story. You, you have some issues that you need to work out with yourself. Um, I... Yeah, I'm here to listen. I thank you. You are kinder than I would have expected to put up with me using you in this way. I hope that I will not use your time so badly in the future. Thank you. It's it's really kind of interesting. Her, her... Sorry, my cat just jumped on the desk. <laughs> um, she wants attention. Um... You know, Juhani talking about the persecution that she's faced and being treated like an animal and no one understands her and she's repulsive and all this stuff. But she even gets the same kind of reputation with the fandom. Um, you know, people normally don't react, react to her well and think that she's ugly and there's a number of mods um, so that Juhani can be a different character in the game because people don't like the way that she looks um which is really interesting and very sad at the same time where are you jolie oh there you are hi got something on your mind do you i'm just talking to all of my companions oh oh you can make healing kits for me cool Yes. Well, I suppose I could whip up something, uh, you know, a few herbs and such. You do know that the best alternative is not to get hurt, right? Well, not to say that you go leaping into the path of blaster fire or anything, but I know how you young people get. Here, take it. <laughs> so he probably... Ow! Stop it! Probably won't have anything to say, um, till we leave. But, um, the Gizka, um... We've already found the two options to get rid of them. Um, at least the two that give you experience points. You can persuade the guy on Manon that's looking for exotic stuff. Or you can actually buy Gizka poison from Eli, um, that shady merchant. Or, you know, once we get rid of Eli on, um, on Kashik. Or you can talk to Matten, I think is the other guy's name. And they actually have Gizka poison. But I don't want to force anyone to take the Gizka, and I don't want to poison them because I think they're cute. So, but those are the two ways um, to get rid of them. And there is a third way, which we will be doing later. All right, we're going to do some traveling, and I'll see you in a minute. The cutscene. Interesting. 
Kalonord is dead, Lord Malik. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. Yeah, that was kind of silly of you. Darth Bandon shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Bandon? I don't remember Bandon. Nope, I do not remember you at all. He must die quickly, or something. He looks kind of like the Sith guy we killed on, um, Terrace, actually. Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. As you command, Master. Hmm. Well, that isn't good. Crap. Uh, oops. Excuse me, have you seen a mechanic about? Short fellow, bald, I've been looking. Well, I'll be a Wookiee's uncle. Davin? Davin Coachers? <laughs> Jolie? Jolie Bindo? Why, you old freak. Last time I saw you, you were still wandering the galaxy in that old tug. I thought you were dead, old man. I crashed somewhere and decided to stay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll just bet. Damn, old man, you look exactly the same as the last time I saw you. You pickle well. You're too kind. Not the young lad anymore yourself, I see. Uh, care to introduce your friend? What are you, deaf? His name's Davin. Old friend from my wanderer days. By the by, Davin, I really should be running off. Of course, old man. Oh, w wait. I if you've been traveling in this sector, I suppose you heard about Sunry? No, why? What's there to hear? He's been picked up by the Selkath authorities on Manan. For murder. That's preposterous. I know. Laura is beside herself, as you can imagine. Maybe you could help them. I'm sure Sunry would appreciate a Jedi's assistance right about now. Perhaps I will at that. It's up to my friend here, actually. I'm just tagging along. We can check into it next uh, next time we go to Manon. Manan. I'd appreciate that. Sunry's an old friend. I'd hate to see him hurt. Same here. Well, <laughs> it was good to see you again. Give my regards to Alora if you see her. I will. Be safe, old friend. Um. So I actually... Traveled to Datooine on accident. I didn't mean to come here. Alright, next time I will be on the right planet. And we are here to give the tack gland to Griff. Oh, Jolie remains somewhat mysterious. Car really? I was gonna talk to Griff, but if you insist... Got something on your mind, do you? You're the one that wanted to talk. Why did you want to come with me? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I'd forgotten what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashyyyk is an uller in mating season. Ugh, frightful. So you, you wanted a ride? Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? No, seriously, tell me. I'm old, damn it. I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a panther. <laughs> Did you know this person endlessly too? Uh... You're avoiding the question. So I am. Tell you what, when you get to be my age, you can go ahead and answer any question you like to. You have my permission. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vex was his name. The Force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. And what do you... Do you is that what you see around me, too? No, I should maybe... You traveled with this guy? I haven't heard of him. Let's do that one. No, you wouldn't have. 
Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us old Jedi's excited at our age, so we go, ooh, destiny. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. Um, is there a, is there a point? We're making all this up. Is there some hidden meaning in this? I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. As boring as the story. How, how young are we talking about? Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair, and Coruscant was a small town with a well. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. <laughs> Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. And, and how did you know? Swirling force, remember? Jedi here. Granted, I was just interpreting the signs, but we get trained in that sort of thing, more or less. Well... Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Yeah. Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too. Or this could have just been gurgling noises. No, well, anyway. Finally... Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. <laughs> You're kidding. Everyone panics and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, what do you have to do? What does this have to do with you coming with me? Well, hey, the chances may not be great, but when one has the opportunity to see something like that twice in a lifetime. Anyway, go on. My throat <laughs> is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo! So I have swirling force and he's expecting me to get sucked into an energy vat? Is that it? Um, he had more question options, so let's see. Got something on your mind, do you? Tell me about, uh, Sunri. What? You think because I'm a hermit I've always been a hermit? Just because I haven't seen Sunri for 20 years doesn't mean he's not a friend. A man could have changed a lot in that span of time, though. But to become a murderer, uh, mm -mm -mm. I can't see it. That's not the Sunri I knew. He was a good man. Put me up in his home for a year back after I left the Order. War hero, too. Or so I hear. I wouldn't mind helping the fellow if we can. I owe it to him. Or you can be a young monkey lizard and ignore me, I guess. Well, I don't expect much these days. Hmm. All right. Uh, we're finally gonna talk to Griff now. You're back! I knew you'd come through for me! I knew I could count on you! Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? Here's the tech land. Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ! It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune! Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I've turned over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Theresian Ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. 
You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of... Oh, at least 20 times your investment. You haven't even brewed it yet. No. You don't know much about business, do you? When an opportunity like this comes along, you have to jump at it. Come on, what do you say? Not until the ale is done and I actually know you can do what you're talking about. No. It's your loss. I better get started brewing that ale. Meet me back here later and I'll give you a down payment on what I owe you. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, it doesn't sound like he's turned up a new leaf at all. He's just looking for a get-rich-quick scam, which... Ugh. Anyway, um, we're gonna go travel again. So I will see you in just a sec. Okay, uh, we've arrived on Korriban, and I know that I said that after Kishak we would go back to Manan. Ah, uh, and, um... I've decided that I feel really awful about making Karth wait in regards to his son because um, I'm sure he's just completely anxiety ridden so we're gonna find his son and then leave and then go to Manan and then come back to Korriban How do you know I'm a Jedi? So I imagine he says uh, many Jedi come um, to join the Sith and those who have left the light side are very welcome yeah Huh, how do you know how, the Ebonhawk? What do you know the Ebonhawk from? Rundi Haudonga Kuhunga B. Wana Kunbes. Jink Palamul Tonk King Ba Naku. Hmm. Since I'm a regular, he's only charging me 25 credits. Um, since the ship is regular, I should say. Alright. He says, stay out of the way of the Sith. Um, can I ask you some questions? Um, tell me about Korban. So it's basically a Sith planet and Circa are here. They have some mining contract. Uh, tell me about Circa. Takum justak miki grabal mogo. That really didn't tell me anything. I didn't already know. Okay, I'm good. Oh, I lost credits. Who are you? Go about your business, please, citizen. Okay, I'll leave. No, that is the wrong answer. Again. You pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? What a wama mulira, king kunjo peshak, no ba mulira ji, Johnny Yun Turung. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. <laughs> No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. 
You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Uh, hmm. You! Jedi! You're looking to get into the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. <sighs> Why are you asking me? Please, tell him to let us go, I beg you! Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can barely think straight. Besides, I find it fun. Come now, a decision, please. Oh, well, if I tell him to let them go... I don't want them to come back here at all. Um, I think humiliation would be enough. You do? Hmm. Perhaps having a bunch of hopefuls soiling themselves would be somewhat amusing. Let's see, shall we? Sorry, guys. Oh, okay. I was expecting dark side points. Uh, yeah. I would I would rather them be humiliated and never want to come back than just let them go and have them think they could get back in again. Anyway, I am out of time for this installment, so I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.